Of course. Best spot in school, right? Yeah. It's great. Listen, there's something I need you to do for me. I, I mean, for the band. But you're not gonna like it. Sounds awesome. Tell me more. You have to go get your senior picture taken. Nope. Come on. Why not? It's a family tradition. Orson didn't do it. My mom didn't do it. Her mom didn't do it. I'm just carrying on a long line of being blank spaces in yearbooks. Admirable. Totally makes sense. 100% normal. But what if I told you that if you do the picture, Naomi will fix my MIDI controller and save our audition and then we can win and play Caldera Fest and have amazing lives? Naomi. Oh, shit. I think we did talk about this. It was her one condition. Oh, uh, yeah. And she doesn't budge. Believe me. I have to think through everything when I'm writing a campaign for her. I can only imagine. You know, I just wrote in a new storyline for your L&L character. Wait, what do you mean, storyline? I thought I just showed up and rolled dice until something died. No. You've got a whole character arc now. And you'll have to play through it every session. Are you holding my MIDI controller hostage? Pretty much. You do want it fixed, right? Yes. I'll do it. I was gonna anyway, I think. Just please get a picture. Ugh, I should have worn a different tank top. Oh, this is a first. I'm saving the band with my sacrifice. I am a hero. <laughs> You're the best. Right this way, sir. Go get him, slugger. Does my hair look stupid? Stop moving! I feel weird. Are you guys hot? It's hot in here, right? Doing great. Yes! Oh, that's 100% photo completion. After your pick, of course. Thanks, Naomi. Seriously. So, you got this? Yep. I, I mean, I'll try. Meet me after school today. You can't do it, like, now, maybe? We have our last practice after school, and tomorrow is the audition. I have to get these proofs to the office and pay the photographer, then Miss Roberts needs me to assist with a freshman demo, and then there's language lab. Okay, yeah. After school. Thanks. No! Oh! <laughs> I wasn't sure I was gonna pull that off. Oh, no, 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 no! The backdrops! We, we, we can't retake it! Oh my god, what is this stuff? And, Oh my god, that smell. It's her mask. It's very distinct. What's wrong? Did you not just witness my truly triumphant moment? No, no, sorry. Reed really saved us and hopefully Naomi will save us. But now we don't get one last practice before tomorrow. Wait, is that all? No biggie. We got this. We've practiced like a million times. I mean, I can use the time on L&L, so... Win-win! Oh no! <laughs> I better... Later, Wormies! Oh, hey! Was I supposed to give you a ride or something? 
I'm actually here to see Naomi. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we can work over here. Why does your MIDI controller smell like chemicals? It's just nail polish. And solder and a chemical solvent. We should probably open a window, actually. Okay, yeah, I'm out of here. Thanks for stinking up the place. I love stuff like this. Seeing how things are put together on the inside. Like an autopsy. Wait, does that mean it's dead? No, no, just... Sorry. This means a lot to you, I know. No, sorry. Not, not to pressure you. No, I need to get used to it if I'm gonna be a doctor, right? Probably, yeah. But seriously, I think the patient is gonna make it. So, uh... Why music? Um, what do you mean? Like, what got you into it? Ha! <laughs> oh my god, I, I never even really thought about it, you know? It, it always just felt like the right thing. I guess I made up little songs when I was a kid for Nasser and stuff. Our parents were always working a lot, so we kind of had to entertain ourselves. Like, I know I'm supposed to talk about how songs helped me find myself or understand the world or something, but... They don't? No, no, I mean, they do. Especially right now, but it's also that I feel different when I'm playing. My whole body feels lighter. Wow. <laughs> I am so nervous and I am r rambling right now. I, I probably sound crazy. No, you don't. It's called the flow and people feel it from all sorts of things. Exercise, painting, math, even. I feel it when I'm doing things like this, putting things together or back together. It's like you're doing exactly what you were meant to do. Yeah, that's... It. All fixed. Ugh, Naomi, you're a genius. I owe you like a million favors. Well, since you're gonna be in the Battle of the Bands, um, maybe a VIP ticket? Wow. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. If we get in, I will totally do that for you. If? Wait, I thought... Uh, so... Tomorrow is kind of just an audition to get into the battle, but I've been working really hard. And, and now this works! I was happy to help. And it was nice, you know, to chat. Yeah. Well, I'll just, um... See you at the Battle of the Bands. I can't believe we missed practice because of the controller. What if that was what would have put us over the edge? Hey, everything okay? Uh, yeah. But we have a gig tomorrow, kinda, right? Yes. So, we gotta do the thing. Oh my god! I forgot! With the controller, and I had to get Naomi to fix it and everything. I got you. Swiped it from my dad's desk. Hope it wasn't important. With, With this, this sacrifice, we decree worm, worm drama. drama. No, no harma. harma. Here, Here we spend all, all our, good, our good, karma. good karma. Worms till, till the end. end. Worm, Worm drama, drama forever. forever.
Wow, we were kind of weird kids, huh? Totally. Okay, with that, I gotta go. I'm supposed to be home with the kids right now, but you know we had to do this. You're the best. Back at ya. Still no ETA for mom and dad? Nope. Did you go shopping? I did. I heroically accepted the groceries our parents had delivered from afar. Hey, wish me luck. With audition or those questionable food choices? <laughs> Both. How are you always so chill? A master never reveals his secrets. Hmm. Master. Okay. It's all a matter of perspective. Is that code for don't give a shit about anything? It's code for give just the right amount of shits. My worms! What are you doing out here? Whoa. Where were you? Inside, waiting to nail this audition. I got here early to help Rosa close up so she can watch us play. And check it out, free lattes. We were waiting for you. I texted you. Like a million times, I know. I just assumed we'd meet here. That was the plan, right? Yeah. Okay, let's just do this. This is weird. More like terrifying. Tonight, you are auditioning for a spot in my annual Battle of the Bands! Why a battle, LJ? It seems kinda harsh. Can't we all just play our music and support each other? HA! The best thing I can do to support musicians that I believe in is to challenge them, toughen them up, and push them to make their best music. And that's what I'm here to do for you. Make sure you're ready. Agents, tours, the whole shebang. Like the Spines, ever heard of them? I love them. Or how about Tina and the Tyrannosaurs? Know their multiple number one singles? They rule. Goddesses. Or how about Swamp Babies, the band everyone thinks will win this year? But then young upstarts Worm Drama are here to throw them off and maybe this is their year. Ah, that's us! Woo! My point is that you are all here because you show promise, and I need to see which of you can actually fulfill that promise and earn a spot at Caldera Fest, where you will perform for thousands of members of the paying public. Now, let's get to it. After all, I hear a huge rock is coming from outer space to kill us all anyway. So, certainly sounds like showtime to me. First band! So that's not the same song you played last month? Oh no, uh, uh, so we changed the hook. Um, so before it was like, hey, and now, now it's like, hey. You see how it went up there? It went up at the end. 
I wasn't really asking. If I can't tell, that's all you need to know. Next! Oh my god. Am I in hell? Maybe. Come on, let's go. Um, hi. We are Worm Drama. And this is us. Not bad. Nerves got you a bit, huh? Wait, that sounds bad. Did we suck? Nah, not even close. Did good. Couple of rough patches here and there, but you probably already knew that. You're only as good as your weakest link. Thanks. Um, we did what you said with the new songs, and, and we worked really hard. I can tell. But... you... thought it was okay? Stop worrying so much about whether other people like it or not. All that does is rattle your nerves and make you play like crap. You have something special. Run with it. See you at the show, kids. We're in? We're in! Yeah, okay, get off my stage now. Next! I can't believe we did it! I, I, I feel like I'm dreaming. Am I dreaming? I feel like I had an out-of-body experience. I bailed hard a couple times. Do you think LJ noticed? Yeah, she said you need to tighten up a bit. Ugh, oh, I feel awful. It's, it's fine. She was just trying to help. <laughs> Selfie?
You better remember us when you're famous. I just want to play music. And we still have so much work to do. Like, we have to put up all these posters so people will actually show up and cheer for us. Do you think all this get it energy is tied to the meteor? The power of stardust. What do you mean? Sometimes all you need is a push. Like today I drew the Eight of Wands. This is a higher power saying like, move it girl! I was about to pass your ass, let's go! <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I, I feel like I'm finally on my way to something. I really believe that the cards just help us get clarity. It's not about the future so much as tuning into where you are right now. And what energy you can work with and what energy you can send right to the trash. See ya, no thanks. You wanna draw one? Um, yeah, I guess. Why not? Right? Think of a question. One of these three cards holds the answer. Or something like that. Oh! Mm. Interesting. Any immediate feelings? Um, how screwed am I? Oh, babe, don't worry about it. Um, you, you didn't answer the question. Mm, sorry to butt in, but we gotta run. School and all. <sighs> right. Listen, find me later if you want. I can explain it a bit. Catch you later, shooting rock star. That card, and all that stuff about the asteroid. Things are starting to feel right. But what if it's all gonna come crashing down? Uh, snap out of it, dork. It's close to the deadline for college applications, so if you've been procrastinating, consider your final snooze button pressed. Now, Naomi has generously offered to help anyone who may be struggling. I can help with essays or proofreading. Whatever you need. Any questions? Yeah, so... Uh, why are we even doing this? Well, you might not care that many of your classmates are looking to their future. Sorry, really, but what future? I hate to break it to you, but this seems like a waste of time. I mean, the future we're looking at's got a big rock blasting through it. No, the future is what we make it. I've worked really hard to get the life I want, and I'm not gonna let a big jerk rock ruin that. He's got a point. Are we just gonna ignore it? I guess I just don't see how anybody could ignore this. Well, since you insist on the subject, presently, we are within the early detection period. As time goes on, it may appear that the probability of a collision increases. However, this is to be expected as more precision shrinks the field of probability. Ultimately, we can expect the probability of impact to go down over time. Statistically speaking, if it did impact the planet, it would most likely be on a sparsely populated area or the ocean. There will always be a reason to avoid difficult tasks. I advise you to desensitize yourself to it, or you'll never leave this classroom. Whatever. Primarily how you intend to excel under these unprecedented circumstances. Perhaps the subject is not entirely irrelevant. It would stand you in good stead to reference the current events in your application letters. So, like I said, your Mega Zostradon did not eat your homework. The asteroid does not excuse you from planning your future.
gonna hit the vending machines. See you practice, Dark Mage. Don't worry about LNL. Reed is a really great DM. And and you're a natural performer. Um I'm sure you'll be great. <laughs> Uh, thanks. I appreciate that. Really looking forward to it. Ha! <laughs> yep. Yeah, and me too. Well, this is... Um, I gotta... Stella, hey! Bang! Hello! So, like, that, that card? This is stupid, but... is it for real? Mm, oh, I don't know if real is the right word. It's as real as you make it. I think the energy we put out in the world comes back to us. You can believe whatever you want. The point is to take what you get and use it to reflect. Someone once said, great events turn on small hinges. Sometimes drawing a card lets you think about the small hinges you turn to get to where you are, and how you want to be going forward. You're an oracle. I know, babe. Not gonna lie, the hanged man seems a bit... bad. Well, I mean... Okay, listen. There's no such thing as a bad card. They're tools. They're like little windows that give you a new way of looking at things that are already there in your life. So the hanged man looks bad. But what it represents isn't as bad. Essentially, it means that you're taking a break and that things are out of your control at the moment. Which is definitely scary. But this guy appears as a sign to surrender to the chaos. Just for a second. Let things breathe. Look at them in a new way. Don't try to force your way through. Surrender to what is. But it all feels uncertain now. Like, the chaos just looks so much worse than it ever has. I used to ram into the future. Now it... Now it scares me.